Adam used to have a message behind everything he did, which I found fascinating. And he lived the life of a real artist. He'd wake up in the morning and ring me and go, right, we're going to the studio, we're going to the room, all this sort of stuff. And we were just working all the time. He was drawing, or he was reading, or he was illustrating. That painting I did um, from a photograph, Chopper Reed gave Ad that um, 357, and that's an Uzi with a silencer, which I was in. Chopper Reed? Yeah. Yeah, in the far room, Spider took some photos of the um, 357. Have a look at the size of the barrel, and you know what they say, big gun, little thingo. <laughs> Wasn't true. <laughs> bigger gun, bigger, bigger boy. <laughs> but uh, I could only hold that gun out for like one, two, three. Whoa, too heavy, you know. And Adam. Adam used to fire it and they go, ooh. <laughs> this painting is um, of Becky sitting on a dead boar like hunters. It was pig dogs and rednecks and pig dogs that was originally for. And it was like, Adam had a lot to do with um, death. He had a lot to say about death. He didn't like the way people behaved. He was very much like Goya and painted hell that was surrounding him. He one time told me he just paints um, bastards, he just paints evil people. And it got to a stage where Adam became really, really, really sick and the clothes, the material world dropped away. There were no more clothes on Ned Kelly. And it was just down to the bare metal. I used to say to him, we're down to the bare metal now, how are we at? Yeah, mate, that's it, you can see me. <laughs> The Ned Kelly paintings were sort of depicting his demise and then he did one that was absolutely translucent. You could see through the whole thing. 